Hey on Blend Community, my name is Joey. I go to Middlebury College and I'm a My Voice Our Story contributor for Blend. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about meditation and why I think it has helped me a lot with my mental health and I think it could also perhaps really help you as well. Uh, so I guess, firstly, what is meditation? Uh, meditation could be a lot of different things, but I guess fundamentally it's when you are basically sitting with or laying down or, or something with, with your thoughts at ease and your mind and body in sync, and you let your mind kind of rest, but to be at a passive active state, so you're basically not thinking, you're letting your, bla your brain kind of flatline, but you're sort of just sitting with your thoughts and your emotions and letting them process inside you without actively trying to sort them out. So this is something that I've used for the past year, and it's been so helpful for me. I try to meditate at least once a day uh, for 15 minutes, and, and the time can vary for people, but for me, meditation allows me to relax. It allows me to process some of the stress that's been going through me. It allows me to sit with difficult emotions, and it also allows me to have a certain kind of preparedness for things that are are good that are going to come or things that are bad. So my, the difference for me since I started meditating, I feel less anxiety. I feel, like I said, more prepared uh, for things. I feel more focused. And in general, I, I feel healthier. I, I feel more clear of mind. I, I feel like my mental health has improved a lot. So meditation is a great thing for your mental health. And it's not that hard to start. Uh, all it takes is just a bed or a chair or anything, really. You could do it on the subway. You could do it anywhere. Basically, where all you have to do uh, is basically just close your eyes and sit in a comfortable position and, and kind of just... Try to let your mind go to rest, and it's not an easy thing to do. It's an easy thing to start, but to meditate uh, and let your mind go to rest is not easy. We're so used to being distracted and having things flow through our mind all the time. It's definitely not an easy process, and it takes practice and discipline and, and patience to do, but it is it is so well worth it. I, I found that while I was at school, it's super worth it. While you're going through a lot of, of social things and you have a lot of work and there's a lot of things going through your mind, uh, I, I found that it was so helpful and it allowed me to see things more clearly and, and really be able to rest easy and it made life like simpler. It made life seem simpler and I was able to think things through. So meditation, one can, there's a lot of great resources out there now uh, to start to figure out good ways to, to learn how to do it. There's apps like Headspace and there's all these different mindfulness apps that can help you and there's countless videos and it's really in such an underrated resource meditation for helping mental health. We're so used to so many other things but meditation is something anyone can do anywhere and it, it's free and it, it's so helpful and it, it doesn't really get the credit it deserves. So I'd love to know uh, if any of you guys have ever meditated or you know someone that's meditated and, and, and talk to us in the comments about some of the benefits. It's really such an incredible resource that I've used and I will continue to use and I highly, highly recommend you guys do. So let us know, like I said, in the comments. Well, we'd love to know what you have to think. We're, we'll definitely check out those comments. And uh, do not forget to follow Blend on all social media platforms uh, and uh, let us know what you're thinking and we'll see you again on, in the next session of The Real Talk. Thanks for tuning in.